welcome to create with the cricket here. This is my first video in a hot minute. So I got um so let's see if this works better. That's all blurry. How do I do that? Ah there we go. I don't really know how I fixed that. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a buttonhole because one of my friends asked me to make this video and I haven't gotten a chance to go over there and tell it. So I have a brother sewing machine that's also an embroidery machine, but it's probably going to be the same basic steps to do any machine. So, keep your machine off. Take your foot off. This foot that is on here. Oh, this is so hard to do and hold the camera. Get, I need to do your tripod. Okay, so, man, this is a blurry. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry, guys. It's probably a bad video, but I'm going to try to do the best I can. Okay, so you take this off, which is the foot. Er, footer? Footer? Pedal? No, footer. Okay. I'm good at sewing, but I don't know any of the right terms. Sorry. Alright. And then this is the buttonhole maker that I got with my machine. I also got this one. And I haven't played with it yet, so I have no idea the difference. But this one's simple because... Let me see. Let me go get my... Woohoo! This is the dress we made. Isn't it cute? I'm so proud. Me and my friend made it. And it took a while, but... We did it. So excited. But anyways, on the back, we need to add buttonholes so that we can tie it because it's an apron knot dress is what it's called. Anyways, so, okay, I'm trying to get this done. Oh. This is the best part about this one. Right here, this is really hard to do with one hand. You're going to, you can adjust it. Let's see. So if I take that one out, I measured this button. Even though you're not going to actually put a button on that, you need the hole to be a certain size. But Let's say I, why does this thing keep getting so blurry? If anyone has a flip camera and wants to send me some suggestions, that'd be awesome. Okay, this is also a size button that you can use in here. I can't remember, I gotta pull out the manual to see how big you can do. But all you do is you adjust it. So like, I pull that all the way there. Oh, this is really hard to do with one hand. I have to get my son up here to help me hold the camera. And then you pull, and then that tells me, tells my machine how big of a buttonhole I want to make. So I'm gonna adjust this back because this is the size I need for my dress, which I've been too big of a wuss to even <laughs> try it on there because it's such a pretty dress I've made and if I mess it up, I'm gonna cry. And my friend might kill me. Okay, so with your machine still off, what you wanna do is you want to line up this is really hard. Is this pulled up? Yeah. You want to pull this? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. This is not going to work with this stupid camera in my hand. Alright, let's try this this way. Alright, let's see. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to line it up. On mine, there's this little lever where is it? this, and this tells my thing that I want to make a buttonhole. So I pull it down, and you want to put, like for the brother's machine, you want to put this part in between the two markers. There's a marker here, and there's a marker here. I want it to be in between. And then I'm going to lift this up, and I got to change my green. If I can find the button. And I lost my little doohickey that makes it. How much easier to style it in a little shot? I think my kids go back for it. Let's see. Let me put, oh, these are all my buttonhole things, and for my buttonhole, there they are. Ah, if I sit on it first, I'm going to do it. It's kind of auto adjust. I want to use the number, which one did I use the other day? 53. I'm gonna get my scrap piece. 
it's probably going to tell me that I'm almost out of bobbin. Okay. And I'm just going to put it wherever because it's just my scrap piece. And I put my needle down, my pressure down, and my green light means that I can go. And as you can see, it kind of does it for you. you. All you have to do is hold your um, fabric in place. I'm just going to make my buttonhole the exact size that I need for the button that I put it on. I think I'm going to have to hold this early because then we would not be able to do a video. I want to do, oh, and I will, I promise, I you know, everybody's been harassing me about my bag and I make. Um, I'm doing a craft club meeting this weekend and so I'm going to hopefully be able to film or get someone to film the steps to making the bag because I can't write patterns. Do you see how I talk? Do you think I can write? No. So, and the pattern would be like, so, get this thingy and put it on this thing. Okay, let's go. I think, okay. And then I have this cool, I love this machine, little purple thing that cuts it for me. And there's your button. And then all you do is take your seam ripper which I cannot do and hold this thing at the same time. So I'll try. And you take your seam ripper and all you're gonna do is you're gonna put it, and this is, okay, this is the tricky part because earlier I, um, when I was practicing, I'll have to find the one I did it on, this right here. I ripped it too far and see, I ruined my buttonhole. So, this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna rip the middle and it'll look like this. And then this is where I was like, me a hot minute to figure it out but now that I know how to do it I'm so excited because all of my dresses and stuff that I make I like to put the buttonholes and have them tying because it makes it easier for people to adjust them and I don't have the skills yet to make um, skills <laughs> to ha make um, dresses that don't require tying knots so anyways there's my dress and I'll be putting the buttonhole in it and I will take a picture of it when it's done. I probably won't do it today because I'm a little nervous still to do it. But look at that fabric. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite dress ever. I'm going to make one my size. Okay. All right, have a nice day, guys. I hope you figured it out. I hope you can figure it out. If you have any questions, I will do my best to try to answer them. And enjoy your day.